the last decade of life, Safari has focused not just on providing the easiest to use and most elegant browsing experience, but also the most innovative. These are the kinds of innovations that Safari has brought. Private browsing, blocking of third-party cookies for privacy, making the web easier to read with features like reading list, and the HTML5 audio and video tag, all Safari firsts. And the engine in Safari, WebKit, is used by over 1.5 billion devices. Well, in Mountain Lion, we're making Safari even better. We have a great, clean new home page with top sites. From there, you can get at a great sidebar where you have access to all of your bookmarks, and you can browse right from your bookmarks. And in that sidebar, we also have reading list, where now you can continuously scroll through your articles, moving from article to article without ever having to click. And a great new feature called shared links, where you see all of the links shared by people you're following on Twitter and LinkedIn. You can browse them right here. Now, in addition to these and user improvements, there's also a lot going on under the hood. Big improvements to JavaScript, a full process per tab architecture, and memory efficiency improvements with shared memory resource cache, and a whole bunch of big power savings as well. Safari uses way less energy than Chrome, and when you compare to Firefox, it's just kind of sad. <laughs> so that's Safari. I'd love to give you a demo of some of our advanced technologies in Safari right now. So let's start with responsiveness. And I'm going to go now into uh, mail. And so here we have a mailbox with a, about 100,000 messages in your, your inbox. And I just want to show you how, uh, how you scroll now with that accelerated scrolling. Perfectly smooth, incredibly fast, almost 60 frames a second whenever you do it. It's just epic. And when you look here at scrolling through a conversation, this is a conversation with 26 messages in it. Again, just super glassy smooth, super fast. It's really, really nice. Let's take a look at that in Safari. In Safari, we've improved scrolling for more popular websites and actually optimized heavily for retina displays. So now it's just super fast, super smooth. Now let's take a look at power. Yeah, there's a fan of smooth scrolling right there in the front. <laughs> I'm a fan of smooth scrolling as well. So let's take a look at power usage. I have a power meter up here that's showing CPU activity in Safari. And you notice right now it's quite low because we're not doing anything. But let's go into a, uh, a website that's uh, going to use a lot of power. And you notice the power meter shoot right up because we're doing a lot of animation here using a lot of CPU. And that's OK. That's what the CPU is for. It's doing something cool for me right here. But very often you'll have something like this happening in an ad off in the corner. You've covered this window up. And yet it's still draining your battery life. You don't even realize it. Well, now with this technology we call AppNap, we keep track of what's going on and what things you actually see to decide where to direct power. So watch what happens when I bring up this uh, iTunes window over the Safari window. Power drops right down. That's extending your battery life.